Yes. Practice. You, you have the talent. Okay. You need opportunity to practice the application. How did you need it? How did you need it? I was son of God, I was slow to come into this comprehension. Like, what are you doing? Are you just out, that's just really like, stress me out? He goes, no, I'm trying to get you into, I'm trying to release the honor through the glory that I have upon your life, boy. <laughs> and you're doing everything to try to get rid of it. You're pushing it, trying to repel it. Yep. I just see them as challenged, trying to get in my way. Cause I want to live the nice heavenly life. Peace all the time, no stress, nobody bothering me. Well, you should say it also this way. No glory, no honor because glory is not being exercised. And you're going to be judged. Why has your glory been exercised? I should say it the way Jesus. It's called burying the talent. Hallelujah. You should reject those things if you're not regenerated and justified. But once you are, just the Lord, grant me the grace that is founded in Jesus to exercise your glory. So you are honored. Amen? In Jesus. Jesus said, my glory is complete through what? Us when we exercise the glory. Glory to us. Yes. Job knew this. Yes, he had it before. So when he loses it, how he longed to have it back. He said, oh, how I long for the refreshing of my glory and honor. Oh, when it was with me. When butter flow from my feet and the rock pour oil upon them. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read, please. Romans 8. Let me take up tithing yeah. and communion. We think that if we're delivered of some sinful habits, like that's the victory. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You we still the, haven't you, got to the glory. Correct. Side. There's no reward side. Yeah. That's just positional. Yeah. One part is positional, the other one is the other part is application. Perfect. You are positioned. To apply the application. If you're not positioned, you can't apply the application. You ever try to do something and you're in, a, you're in a poor posture? You ever try to push something? Let's say you gotta push something forward. And let's say you're kind of like this. You ever see, can you generate power? No, you're not in the right posture. Perfect, perfect. To push, you have to positionally be set in place. And this is Job's whole thing. Yes. I'm in position still. Yeah. Why isn't the glory flowing? Yes. Couldn't understand it. Yes. They were trying to convince him you have lost your position. Perfect. He said, no, I did not yeah. neutralize my position. Perfect. But I'm experiencing the effect of one amen, who have lost his position. In Jesus' name. Romans chapter 8 from verse 31 reads, What then shall we say to all this? If God is for us, who can be against us? Who can be our foe if God is on our Side. Woo! Hallelujah! He who did not withhold or spare even his own son, but give him up for us all, Woo! will he not also with him freely and graciously give us all other things? Perfect. God didn't even spare his son to, to bring you back to glory and honor. What else will he do from you? So any enemy go, because you sinned this sin, up, get lost! There's lots of abundance. God is trying to bless me with everything. Right. If there's anything keeping me back, and then just when we waste time talking, oh Lord, enlighten me of thy glory that is founded in Jesus. The more you get familiar with glory, the more God can do with you. Then just prepare, don't be like me, to apply the glory. Don't shy away. Once you get something, God go, now it's time for you to you know, get familiar. I need to create scenarios now. I'm going to send you this person, this thing, this situation, that's it. So you learn to walk in glory. Amen? And they're different. Glory is a wide range, or it's a wide range of ability. There are different ability you must become familiar with from the glory flow. Amen? You'll find we like some and some we don't like, but all of it needs to be harness. Amen? Verse 33 said, Who shall bring any charge against God elect when it is God who justifies? That is, who puts us in right relationship to himself? Who shall come forward and accuse or impeach those whom God has chosen? Will God who acquit us? 
The very God who justifies you, will he now come forth and impeach you? You go, why do you allow the devil on your own conscience to impeach you? I justify you. This is why I say, listen, the fight is walking in glory. It's not justification. You don't have time. Perfect. You know, I was testing it to my wife. I get frustrated some with it. When we are falling back into the sinning and the old man and the just I'm like, we don't have time. The glory is challenging enough to get familiar. And our attitude sometimes is not right with glory. You know, understand how we have been equipped. The Bible said in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 21, I have equipped you to do my will. I am working through the king of glory to accomplish all that is pleasing in my sight. So that's it. You know, there's enough trying to get familiar with the equipment and not interrupting God. On top of that, we take on some, some justification. Like if we can do better than God and took on accusation from ourselves, others, and the enemy. Like, like, like we're we just interested. And God, I was reminding you, did it too. <laughs> So don't get mad at people. <laughs> you are one of them too. Put you first so that you can have compassion. Amen. Who is there to condemn us? Will Christ Jesus, the Messiah? Who died. Who died, or rather, who raised from the dead, who is at the right hand of God, actually pleading as the intercede for us. Who shall ever separate us from Christ? Amen. From Christ's love. Shall suffering or affliction? Amen. Or tribulation, or calamity, or, or distress, or persecution, hunger, or destitution, or parade, or sword. You got nothing can separate you. Then you, got, you, you know, the reason you're going through this parade, or you're going through this persecution, or destitution, you're separated from Christ. No, that's not possible. It's a glory cannot break out. It's a, you see, glory is constantly trying to have a bow parazine. Every second. Let it run its course. The Bible said, let it have a full. Amen. The Bible said, let faith have a full play. Let it run its course. Okay. Hallelujah. Can I just show you something, Steve? Mm. You see in verse 31, it says, What shall we say to all this? Mm. Satan does not want you to have this knowledge, all this. Correct. Because if you do, look at all the confidence. Of course. This is all confidence. Of course. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Even in verse 36, even as it is written, for, thy for the sake, amen. Where are we? Yeah. For thy sake, we are put to death all, the, all day long. We are regarded and counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet amid all these things we are more than conquerors. And Amen? And gain a surpassing victory Woo. through him who loves us. You, you got, among all the state, you're going to bow parazim into victory. Perfect. You're going to be thrust into victory. Throw through into victory. He didn't say things in come. Those things is an opportunity to show glory and to enter what? Honor. Amen? For I am persuaded beyond doubt. I'm sure, amen, that neither death, nor life, nor angel, nor principalities, nor things impending and threatening, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ. Hallelujah. Tell somebody I'm set for glory. I'm set for glory. I'm set for glory. Say, I'm back into glory and honor. I'm back into the glory, glory and honor. honor. Say, I've been called. I have been called. I've been justified. I've been justified. And glorified. And glorified. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Tell somebody, I'm becoming familiar with glory. I'm becoming familiar with glory. Say, I'm becoming familiar with the glory that is in Jesus Christ. I'm becoming familiar with the glory that is in Jesus Christ. He who no one can separate me from. He who no one can separate me from. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Church, you need to walk in glory. So honor can break forth like milk and butter. <laughs> We separate for our ignorance. Yeah, Butter and bread. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. As usual, we just want to thank all those that follow us on YouTube and the net. We thank God for your life. We're trusting the word for those of you that have been regenerated. We'll have a Baal Parazim impact on your life. 
The glory will break forth as water breaks through. Amen. In every area, arena, and rectitude and aspect of your life. And not just your personal life, your family, your resource, your interplay, your circumstance, and all condition in the name of Jesus. And anyone who has not entered yet the glory, it's time to return to the Lord. The Lord has put a perfect justification, a perfect atonement, a perpetuation from Him to atone you from all sins you have done in the past, in the present, or you will do in the future. So right now where you are, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God and God raised him from the dead and he's the Lord and the Christ. You shall be raised with your family and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The one that will help you to be more familiar with glory and help you to walk in honor in Jesus' name. So we just thank God for your lives and your family life and all the blessing and favor the Lord is conferring and that nothing can separate you from Jesus and for the perfect atonement that no charge or accusation shall come from God, the enemy, yourself, or anybody because the Lord has positioned you for victory in Jesus' name. We say amen. amen. Please subside our will at thy will be done. Lord, we just feel your joy today. Father, we just so thank you for your today, reminding us our spirit of your word today, Father. Amen. Thank you, Father, that you destined us, called us, justified us Amen. for glory. Amen. Lord, you just didn't atone for our sins. Mm. You just didn't give us a new life. Amen. You just didn't end the old life. Mm. You raised us up to heavenly dignity, Amen. a heavenly state of condition. Perfect. And Lord, what does this mean? It means power, strength, ability, anointing, capacity. Amen. To glorify you, to help others, and bring the kingdom more honor. Hallelujah. Father, you've placed us in the highest kingdom, Father. The greatest land, Father. You uphold your reputation, Father. Amen. Therefore, you discipline those you love. love. Hallelujah. If they are ignorant of your justification, Father, you enlighten them. Perfect. If they are stagnant in the mm. resurrection, you quicken and discipline Amen. them. Amen. And if they're not moving to glory, Father, you constantly lead them in the way, Father. Perfect. Your love continues to control us, compel us, and urge us, Father. Oh, Father, we thank you for securing this knowledge in our hearts, hiding your word in our hearts, that we may not sin or trespass against you and waste our time. For when you return, you are not dealing with sin. No. You are seeing how far did we get in the glory. Amen. How much honor did you bring me Perfect. because of the great sacrifice Amen. of the one who suffered, sympathized for us. That there would be no condemnation, no accusation, so we could always be confident in the way, in the path, and the knowledge of glory. Oh, Father, grant us all revelation, Father, yes, Lord. of the butter and the oil, Father. Grant us the grace to taste and see and know that you are good, Father. That we would no longer languish in our old strength, in our old self. In the old that has passed away, Father. Mm. But the new one must might constantly refresh us and renew us and regenerate us, Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that our hands would be ever strengthened to battle, our fingers for war, that our bow would ever gain new strength, and that your arm might never be short to save. And that we might reach all the lost, all the hopeless, all the oppressed, all the captive, all the blind, all the poor, Father. Woo! Mm. That everyone might know, Father, of your glory and your goodness because of your mercy and your love. Oh, we thank you for the propitiation. We thank you for Christ's full salvation. And, uh, Father, our spirit hungers and thirsts to get more familiar, Father. Amen. Lord, we just so thank you, Father. 
You've done it all for us, Father. There's nothing left to do but walk it. Amen. Amen. Oh, Father, grant us your faith. Father, the faith of Christ, who loved us and sacrificed for himself for us, Father. That we might have your joy to continue to pick up our cross and follow you. Yes, Lord. May we stand in the one that is anointed. May we stand in the one that is blessed, that is glorified. May we stand in the one that never has to use the blood. Amen. Oh, Father, your gospel becomes clearer and clearer, sweeter and sweeter. We thank you for your knowledge upon knowledge, guiding the way of grace. And then we continue to lay hold of the fullness of your joy and salvation. There are pleasures forevermore at your right hand. Amen. Lead us away from all ten. Let nothing distract us from your glory, Father. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, we're sensing you want to ball perizim more than ever. Yes, Lord. You've been formatting us and equipping us for a very, very long time. Amen. And you want to have your way, Father. You'll have it in the now season. Woo -hoo -hoo, Father. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Father. And we open ourselves, spirit, soul, body, life, family, resource, relationships, so your glory can be released and achieved Amen. through us. Yes, Lord. That we might be vessels, not of wrath, Father. Perfect. And not of accusation and condemnation <laughs> and lack, Father. And no confidence, Father, and guilt and shame, but vessels of butter and oil and deliverance and Amen. love and mercy and goodness and kindness. Yes. That we might be your true kingdom representatives, your ambassadors. Yes, that when we speak, all would become silent and Amen. satisfied. For the king has spoken. The king has decreed. Amen. And all they would know is the joy in their hearts because they believe, Father. Amen. Oh, Father, we just so thank you for opening things up, making things plain and clear. In your light we see more light, light Father. May we continue to abide in your way, Father. And may we continue to testify of what mercy did for us yes, and is always willing to do for others. Atoning, forgiving, repositioning, placing us at the right hand throne beside Christ in glory. Oh, to you be the honor and glory, Father. May we continue to defend and take back all the territory. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we say, Amen. Amen.